at the Dane County Farmers Market. And who am I speaking with? I'm Dave Heidi, executive chef and owner of Liliana's. And then over here, this is Liliana. This is the Liliana. This is the Liliana. Wow, okay. And what are you going to show us today? Well, today we're going to make a dish similar to one we have at the restaurant. We're going to make a uh, tomato bruschetta with heirloom tomatoes. Uh, and we're going to make a, uh, a pesto with fresh basil. Here you go. All right. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> Yummy. These two. It's great. Okay, so this is made from goat milk. What do you think? Isn't that yummy? <laughs> What's the pinnacon peach? It's got like little peach fuzz on the outside. Oh, cool. And and thanks for stopping once again. Anytime. You know we love you. Okay, same here. Thanks so much. Have a good, Have a good one, you guys. All See right. you We're going to get some hickory nuts from you guys. Let's see. Oh, you have a dollar. Yeah, I do. Hold on one sec. What do you I got one right here. Thanks a lot. You guys have a good one. Good to see ya. Okay. We're going to cut our three pieces of bread on the bias. And make a little slurry up here. Salt. Fresh cracked pepper. Here's a little fun trick. You just do one quick smash is maybe a little different. We're gonna use the back side of our knife. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to mash the garlic. Okay, and then we're gonna take a little bit more of this kosher salt. We're gonna put it on top. And we're gonna take the side of our knife and we're just gonna do this to it. Yeah, and the salt actually works to uh, break apart the membrane of the garlic. It just kind of macerates the whole thing. Yeah. We're gonna put that in. Sunflower oil, salt, pepper, and this garlic. We're just gonna spoon oh, nice. a good amount of that on. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these beautiful hickory nuts that we got from the uh, got from the farmer's market, and we're just gonna put a light toast on them. And a good rule when toasting nuts is only toast half at a time because you'll probably burn them the first. Oh. So. Now you're doing that in a dry skillet? Dry skillet. We're toasting them for two reasons. One, to bring out some of the essential oils of the nuts, mm -hmm. <coughs> which is where most of the flavor is, but also to kind of give it that smoky pine flavor as well. And so you want to just <coughs> keep them going in your pan until you start to see just a tiny bit of smoke coming. And so we've got the uh, yummy side of the bread and we're going to put that up first. So just regular oil on the back. Just put it on the hot part of your grill. Okay. There we go. Now we're starting to get some of those grill marks. Everything good starts with garlic. And you're putting in about how much? About three cloves. Three cloves of garlic. And I went through and I picked a bunch of the basil. Mm -hmm. Aged mogouda that we got from Bluemont Dairy. Nice. And while you're cutting that, we should note that this is one of the very few recipes that, chef recipes we've done, where virtually everything is from the market. Pretty much everything. The only thing we don't have from the farmer's market is salt and pepper, but every other ingredient here we got from the market on Saturday. You know, through, give or take throughout the year, we use about 25 to 30 different farmers in the area. Wow. So one thing you want to note, though, is we're not putting any of the basil in. We're only putting in the cheese, the garlic, and then I'm going to go grab those nuts. Okay. Um, if you, if you put the basil in first, you're going to end up with a really brown pesto, and no one wants that. We're not going to add any oil yet. We're just going to do a dry grind of everything that's in here. So you're looking for kind of like a nice mix. Add our fresh basil on top. Oh, it smells delicious. And we're going to put in some of this uh, beautiful sunflower oil. And we're going to add more of that later, but we don't want to put too much in right away. We're going to add some more basil. Put a little bit more oil into I like a nice and uh, oily pesto. It makes it easier to spread. And it brings out that bright green color even a bit more. 
Okay. So now we're gonna set that aside. So here we have those gorgeous tomatoes we got. Just look at these guys. Take these fresh tomatoes. We're gonna take just a little bit of this basil. So this is the uh, Phantom Farm uh, uh -huh. Montrachet that they have. I'm just gonna take it right out of the can. I'm just gonna spread that on. You're gonna take some of these beautiful tomatoes and you wanna pull them up and out of the way so you can drain some of that juice off. Oh, uh, okay. And then we're just gonna put them right on top. A little bit of a balsamic reduction. Gonna finish these off with a Cornell of pesto. Heirloom tomato bruschetta with uh, pesto and matcha shake.